The King of Hammers is, uh, was somebody's thought, hey, we can race like the guys do in Baja, up through some of the gnarliest little rock sections there are, mix some desert in it. It's one of the, or actually the hardest single day off-road race in the world. You're going 100 miles an hour across the desert and you want to know for sure that that cage is going to hold together and that your seat brackets are going to be strong and that everything you put around you is going to make that accident that could occur, you know, something that you walk away from. That's when you know you want to have the best products when you're manufacturing the car and so that's why I've chosen Lincoln Electric. I bleed red and black and my shop is all red and black. And we're out here repairing everything that breaks for Ultra 4 Racing and two lesser classes, the King of the Hammers here. You know, we use Lincoln equipment, torch-made equipment. We can't be happier. And with the race support, like uh, Lincoln and, and torch-made being out here with Rough Stuff, you know, it's if I didn't have them, I would have had a hard time passing tech because I had to build this little bumper to pass a new rule. It's really hard to put a dollar value on, but it's, it's really worthwhile. If we can't fix it, we're a failure. It's my whole company's reputation. If we don't have reliable equipment, we might as well not come. We would be laughed out of here. Instead, we make millions of dollars in new business by having the right equipment that always works. You push that button, it starts every damn time. That's amazing. I grew up as a, as a fabricator at a young age. My dad always made me build my own parts. So, um, you know, Lincoln Walters are, are some of the finest products in the business. Well, my brother and I fabricated this car in our shop, like a lot of these guys do out here. Uh, so we've done all the welds on it. The performance of the, the Lincoln MIG on this is great. And, and I can see difference with the quality of the machine. And it's absolutely important for safety. You know, when we roll over going 40 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour, or 100, this cage is what's saving our life. And when you're making those welds, you need to think about that. I'll tell you, with those machines, it, it, it really changes the way you build things.